Hi everyone, Head Golf Professional Tim Harris here and uh, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, some new mats that we have installed here on the driving range that some of you may have noticed if you're in town. We have Turf Hound that came out and put in some uh, mats down for us, some artificial surface. And what I want to do is uh, explain how we should utilize those surfaces correctly, how you're supposed to stand and how you're supposed to hit golf ball so you're not crowding in on other people while they're hitting. Uh, this is the first week we've had them installed and we've had some people come to me and say, well, where am I supposed to stand just to make sure I'm not going to hit somebody with a golf club. So I have my assistant Brock Green out here with me and we're going to demonstrate to you where you should be standing when you're utilizing the artificial turf. So as you can see Brock here, he's standing on the lower cut of the turf, which is the fairway cut turf. And then there's another section of turf over here, which is a little bit thicker, that demonstrate more of the rough type of surface. As Brock is right-handed, he is going to always stand on the artificial turf that is the lower cut, okay, the fairway cut height. And I'm gonna stand on the fairway cut height too over here. And just to demonstrate where we're encompassing the area right here in front of us. Now, as far as the rough part over here, we don't want anyone ever standing on the rough part. Brock can still stand on the fairway cut height and hit balls on the rough right here, as I'm demonstrating here as well. So not only is the fairway cut height my space, but so too is the rough part over here. Now some of you may ask, well what if there's a left-hander because a left-hander stands on the opposite side? Well, it would be the same thing if I had a left-handed club. I'm going to utilize the fairway cut space here as I'm hitting. Brock is standing on the other side and you can see there's plenty of room between the two of us. Now let's say I wanted to hit out of the rough, I would just come over here, I would still stand on the fairway cut height and I would be able to hit out of the rough even though Brock is right handed and he's hitting out of the rough as well, it still gives us plenty of space. So just to recap, I want to make sure everyone understands, as long as no one's ever hitting golf balls and standing on the rough, you should have plenty of room because each golfer gets two spaces. Whether you're standing in the fairway or hitting out into the rough, you have plenty of room on each side. So when you're out there and you're utilizing the turf, always make sure to hit your golf balls by, while standing on the fairway cut height. That means you can utilize the fairway cut height and you can move over a little bit and use the thicker rough top cut. Left-handers, right-handers, it gives you plenty of room. We just want to make sure nobody's swinging and hitting their, getting their golf clubs, get too close to each other. Thank you.